For North Bay firestorm victims, it always seems as if there's one more thing to be done. If it's not debris, then it's insurance. If it's not insurance, then what about the trees? Here's ABC7 News reporter Wayne Friedman. Welcome to Sonoma County, also known as the land of high-speed chains and flying wood chips. These, the last rites for dying and dead trees. They number in the tens, maybe the hundreds of thousands. Every burned tree in the fire zone has a different story, but they all share one element in common. They need to come down, they need to be picked up, and that gets complicated. You know, the firewood guys don't want it, no one really wants it. Jeff Cowell has been a busy man lately. He runs a tree removal company, spent part of today in Larkfield Estates, where most homeowners bear the burden of dealing with their burned trees. Those homeowners include Santa Rosa's assistant fire marshal, Paul Lowenthal, who has three charred redwoods in the remains of his backyard. Um, and ultimately, it's my debris and my responsibility to remove. There are exceptions, however. If you own property with felled trees that have bright green paint or markings, you're in luck. Those would be among the the almost 11,000 trees that PG&E has cut down. They're offering to remove the debris. We sent letters to about 8,800 customers who we thought had trees that qualify for this wood management program. How many people have called you back? We have about 1,200 logs to move or remove right now, as of now, and, and the deadline hasn't come up yet. Deadline's not till the 28th. Meantime, at the end of this month, Santa Rosa will offer a program for its homeowners. Free wood chipping and disposal in two locations. The only caveat, they'll need to get the trees there. We recognize the fact that it's not the perfect solution right now, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. And that is spoken like a man who not only works with policy, but is also living with it. In Santa Rosa, Wayne Friedman, ABC7 News.